Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Norway Pass Trailhead. Hoping to get to Mount Margaret today. <clears throat> As you can see behind me, the Washington Trail Association is here working on the Independence Pass Trail, so we'll probably see them. In fact, they tried to recruit me this morning, but <laughs> I'm here to hike. I will be working with the uh, WTA crew day after tomorrow on the Wonderland Trail. Great stuff. If you've never done it, try, try volunteering. You'll love it. So here's a map here at the trailhead. <clears throat> We're right here. So we'll be going up to Norway Pass and then on up to Bear Pass and then taking the Boundary Trail over to Mount Margaret if there's time. Uh -huh, lots of paintbrush today. Look at that. Wow. Uh, here's some pink monkey flowers, I think. There's the WTA crew behind me. <laughs> Happily marching yeah, towards right. our with vim and vigor. Yep. Uh, here's some subalpine spirea. Here's a nice view of Mount Adams, another one of our volcanoes. Uh, there you can see where we're headed. That's the Boundary Trail. After we get to Bear Pass, I believe. These beautiful white flowers are Sitka Valerian, I think. This little creek bed is made up almost completely of pumice from the, uh, from the eruption. Real lightweight, full of air pumice stones. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, welcome to Norway Pass. Two miles up the trail. And there is Spirit Lake, still covered with blown down trees from the eruption. And we're looking into the crater of Mount St. Helens itself. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Like a piece of turkey jerky. So if you have a fear of heights, you're going to want to bring a trekking pole for this section. Hey, here's some stone crop. Every color between yellow and orange you can imagine. Here's some Mariposa lilies. Uh, now we're getting a nice view of Mount Rainier. And these amazing flowers are called bear grass. Now we're getting to see Mount Hood. It's not very hazy today. That's down in Oregon. So, four volcanoes in one day. You didn't know I was going to bring you such a deal, did you? <laughs> so beautiful out here. So we've reached what I think down there is Bear Camp and then the trail is going to take us around the gully. And that's Mount Tanagram and then lo and behold, there's Mount Margaret. <laughs> Only about a mile to go. Pretty dramatic, isn't it? Wow. Just a few hundred feet to the top, but before we get there, I wanted to show you this better panorama of Spirit Lake from this knob almost to the top of Mount Margaret. So there's Spirit Lake still littered with trees from the eruption blast. 
and there of course is Mount St. Helens crater and then over here you got cold water peak hey I found a whole herd of elk down there resting in the sunshine So there's Mount Rainier from Margaret. <clears throat> and then swinging, which is further east, you've got the Goat Rocks Wilderness with the snow on it in there. Southeast is Mount Adams. So to finish the video, I'll give you a nice close-up of the crater.